bear with me as we go Where the ocean breeze and the dolphins roam There's no place I'd rather be Than with you being barefoot and salty This week on a barefoot and salty adventure, despite the strong winds and the aggravated sea state, we set sail for the Straits of Gibraltar. We get a fishing net caught in our prop 12 miles out and we have to take a detour. And then we set sail to Cartagena. Today's day one and it shouldn't take more than, I would say, um, two days to get to Gibraltar. And we're probably gonna stop in for, for the night depending on the weather. But yeah, I mean, these waves are, I mean, I think they're huge because I'm not a seafaring person. Look at this one. You see what I'm saying? Like for me, I look outside and I just see blue. I'm like, I should see the sky and I should see the mountains, not just water. anywhere from 10 to, I think we saw like 12, 15 footer. Whoo! Part of my seasickness today is probably a little bit of fear. So I think I'm just gonna actually try to lay down and fight this um, and then just do my shift in three hours or so. All right. It is day two on our trip from Kashkais to Gibraltar and the, the wind and the waves have definitely settled down quite a bit. So it's, it's gonna be a very lovely day. Hopefully really enjoyable uh, day sailing on the water. We have just recently passed the point on Sal Vincente and we're heading towards Gibraltar. We have a little over 127 miles to our next point right before we get into the Straits of Gibraltar, so we're not going to get there anytime soon. Um, I slept most of the night and the guys picked up uh, most of my, my night shifts, so I'm actually going to try to sit out here as much as I can today and let them catch up on some well-deserved sleep. Uh, we ran into several boats last night, a couple cruise ships, a couple fishing vessels, and I think it was kind of uh, hectic for them. Uh, but nonetheless, we are sailing, which is great news. We've sailed pretty much the whole way. Uh, it's really nice to hear um, the sound of the waves, the sound of the sails, instead of satellite phone to get um, a weather report.
they're so playful and cute and I can't believe that just happened. Like that made my day. I swear this never gets old seeing dolphins. They're my favorite. Another beautiful day of sailing. Um, we have about 12 hours until we reach the, the beginning of the Gibraltar Strait. And we're looking forward to getting through and getting into the bed. sail drive is damaged or there's something maybe a rope or a line got caught up in it because we have some very serious vibrating problems so I'm going to go down and have a look and see what the problem is. You ready to go for a dip in the cold water? Uh, no, I'm not ready but I will do it anyway. <laughs> Alright, so you got off the front though, right? Well, I've got this big thing. Yeah, I saw. There's still a big one between the drive and the front of the shaft. Right. And dismount. Ready? Dismount. It's supposed to be a straight cannonball. Or belly flop. Look at that, is this? There you go. Can you pull? Pull. Alright. which is basically the beginning of the strait you could say the um, Gibraltar Straits it could get a little rougher and more wind so we got the prop free of the fishing net and we're we're ready to make our way into the bed today we are leaving Marina Merimar in Spain and heading towards Cartagena Spain we're trying to edge our way closer and closer to Barcelona uh, for uh, Clive's daughters when they come to visit. We want to be as close to Barcelona or um, Alicante as possible. But look at this beautiful view of the mountains. It's crazy to think that we're in May and there's still snow-peaked mountains right off in the distance. Thirty knots of a current went across the deck. Um, 